Today I'm going to show you a very exciting tutorial on PowerPoint called the carousel animation effect or simply called as the morph transition effect. As you can see here I have used these five images which I have downloaded from the net and placed in this particular position. Here in the main I have used in the center I have used the main image here which is the bigger size and then at the side I have used the less uh, size than the main image and then at the corners it will be less smaller than the side images and then I have used the title here title one which can be replaced by your own text and you can add the detailed description for this particular image and in the background also I have used uh, a purple background so how it works when I click this image will move to the side and this image will move in the center. So let me just show you when I click you can see here that has been moved and this image has come here and the title has been changed to title 2. Again on a click it will change to title 3 the image comes and then my next click this will come here. You can see here this is 4 and this is 5. Believe me, it's very easy to do this in PowerPoint. So let's start. I'm going to use these five images which I have downloaded from the net. As you can see here, I've given the what are the sizes for each uh, photo will be. As you can see here, this is the main, the center image and I'm going to use the height as 4.5 inches and the width as 7. And the next photos will be 2.5 height and 4 as width and the corners will be 1.5 and 2 inches width. So let me just add a new slide and delete the unwanted textile boxes here. Then make sure that the guides are enabled. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, cover the rectangle, the upper part you can see here and shape outline, make it no outline and right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to use some gradient fill here by default i have already used before that's the reason is coming you can use any color i have used two stops you can see the first stop i'm giving i've given some dark uh, purple color and the other one i have given a light purple color you can see here this one then I'm going to select the first image and I'm going to make the height and width the same as 4.5 and 7 inches. Copy, Control C, bring it here, Control V, go to format and make this as 4.5 and this as a 7 inches height uh, width. And select this, align center, align middle, you got this one. Then I'm going to select the second one, Control C, Control V, and this one, you can see here I'm going to make it 2.5 into 4. I'll select this, go to Format, make it 2.5, and this will be 4. And then again, this one, I'm just going to keep it in the center, and I'm going to just send this back. Now I'm just bringing this one, Control C or what I can do is I can just select this Control D to duplicate it and go to this one using, I'm selecting this image, go to Home, you can see Format Painter and just click on this one. So you don't need to again resize the size and just send to back. You can see here and you have to make sure that you are using the same spaces between this one you can see here the same spaces and then i'm just selecting this image now Control v and this will be 1.5 and 2 there's no change and here also i'm just going to select this and paste it the other side and again make sure that you're giving the equal spacing and select this go to format send back this also send back so you can see here our basic design is ready now i'm going to add some text here 
to go to insert text box and I will just say title 01 change the font according to your requirement I'm going to make it open sans bold and I'm going to use the same purple color center align and just keep it here you can see here and then go to insert I'm going to add one more detail uh, text for me mean, meantime I'm just going to use the Latin text just type equals L O R E M within brackets one and close the bracket press enter key you got this text and this also I'm just going to make it open sans reduce the size center align and if you want you can use some lighter color here you can see here then let me just go to in the home tab there's something called select selection pane i'm going to rename this one so i'm just going to select this i will just say exclamation exclamation and i will just say title here because if you don't do this one and when we do the morph transition only this will turn uh, translate otherwise uh, these images will not translate so it's very important so i'm just going to select this one and i will just say equals e, uh, sorry exclamation exclamation i will say detail text all right let me just close this now i'm going to duplicate this slide right select the slide right mouse click and just say duplicate slide so the first thing I will do here, I'm just going to change the title to two. And then as you can see here, I have to bring the images. Uh, for example, this image will come here. This one will go to this one. This one will go to the last one. So uh, how to do this one? So let me just do a very simple uh, technique. So what I'm going to do is, for example, this one has to move here. This has to move here this has to move here and this one has to move here and this the last one has to come back to the the first one here so first of all i'm just going to select this in the home tab select the format painter click on this one you can see here then i'm just going to select this format painter select this i'm going to bring this one in the center format painter click on this and this one format painter click on this but the problem here is two got duplicated so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to the previous slide or the first slide i'm going to select this format painter and click on this so you can see here it has been changed now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select the second slide go to transition and click the morph here you can see it started moving so if I do a slideshow, you can see here when I click, it's changed. It's very easy now. So now what I'm going to do is again press Ctrl D or right mouse click, duplicate the slide. So this will be my title 3. All right. And now again, I'm going to shift this one. For example, let me just duplicate this, press Ctrl D. So that i don't need to go to the previous slide so i'm just going to select this home tab format painter click here this will move to the next slide now next image this will come in the middle this will be here and this will be here i'm just deleting this one so let's see now this is title two and this is title three this is very simple isn't it so again duplicate slide again i'm just going to duplicate this so that i can copy it here again i'm just selecting this click here this one will be to the next this will come front all right and this will be here and this one will be here and let me just delete so this is my fourth slide and the last one control d this is my fifth let me just change the title all right 
and then I'm just duplicating this put it here select this format painter click on this this one will move to this this will move to the center and this will move here and this one will be here all right so let's delete this one so you can see here i have done all so from the slide three to this one make sure that there's a morph transition selected and again friends the morph transition available in i believe only in the office 365 version the uh, the other version i think it's not available but i'm not sure it's 2018 or 19 it's available or not but definitely 2016 or 2010 it is not available so let's do a slideshow now you can see here this is the first one when i click it goes to the second third fourth and fifth so you can see here it's simple and in easy way you can do this carousel effect animation in powerpoint that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye